that turn oxy sells for $215 to $230 on gearbest.com. But right now they are having a sale for $195 only. I will leave a link in the description below so that you can check it out. Now I have received the version 1.2 of the Tronoxy X5 from Gearbest.com to give it my unbiased review. The package weighs around 9.5 kgs which is a bit bulky but it is well packed and no damages were found in the transit except some minor damage on some switches which could be easily rectified. Now the package arrived with all the part that is necessary for building the 3D printer. Along with that they give 10 meters of filament to test the 3D printer once you have assembled everything correctly. But I think they forgot to give the wire cutter with my printer. If you got that wire cutter with your 3D printer let me know in the comment section below. So let's talk about the pros and cons about the Tronoxy X5. The first pro that you get with this 3D printer is a large build volume. The Tronoxy X5 has 210 by 210 by 280 mm build volume. The second thing that you get with this 3D printer is the good build instruction. Though I would complain that they were not updated to the new version of 3D printer which I got. The next thing which I love about the Tronoxy X5 is it gives excellent print quality every time it prints. And not only that, it gives excellent print quality, it prints at really really silent mode. I mean like 30 dB is really quiet. If you have this printer in your room, you don't have to listen to it while you're walking. The cons would include V-slot connectors which were made out of poor quality material and the bed wobbling a bit while printing which can be solved either by changing some firmware setting or modifying the hardware. Now talking about the mods of the 3D printer, the first thing that I did was to design a spool holder in Fusion 360 to replace the stock 3D printed spool. Now I won't say that the spool which came with the model was bad but it was not quite up to the mark. The second thing which I needed to do was to eliminate the Z wobble on the bed. To do that I used the design made by Black Luster on Thingiverse. Now it was time to print a cover for the power supply as I didn't want the electrical connections to get loose and cause a mess. I have made a collection of all the parts that you can print to mod your 3D printer and I will leave that in the description below. Now let's see some of the prints that I got from the Tronoxy X5. The Tronoxy X5 really gives some amazing print considering the budget of the printer is under $200 sometimes. Now if compared to the Anet 8, it really exceeds the Anet 8 print quality in stock condition. As you can see the stringing in the Tronoxy X5 is far less than what it happens in the Anet A8. 
I will be using this 3D printer quite a lot in my upcoming projects. So if you want to see this printer in action and want to know how it works, I hope that you do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment on this video.